Hi, I'm pet dentist Joe Banyard, and with the help of our little friend the Tooth Fairy, I want to tell you what happens below the gum line with periodontal disease. This is the most common disease in dogs and cats. If you understand these concepts, you will be able to better take care of your pet's health. You can download our handout called The Tooth Fairy's Tale, which is on our website. It summarizes this information and is available at www.littlemountainvet.com. Let's go over the tooth and bone relationships. The tooth has a crown which you see above the gum line and a root that you and your vet should not see because it is covered by bone and gums. Here you can see the sulcus, which is a moat under the gums around the tooth. It should be about 0.5 millimeters deep in a cat, 2 to 3 millimeters in a small to medium sized dog, and 4 millimeters in a very large dog. Do you see the nice sharp gum margins, the blood vessels that are in the gums, and around the root of the tooth is that crosshatch, and it's called the periodontal ligament, and it keeps the root of the tooth in the jawbone so that the tooth doesn't fall out. There are five stages of periodontal disease and this is stage zero. This is the stage that you and your pet want to have all the time. Stage zero periodontal disease is where the gums still have really nice sharp margins. There's no plaque, the gums are pink, the sulcus is very small and there is no bone loss. This is stage 1 periodontal disease and the only thing different from stage 0 periodontal disease is that there is plaque on the crown of the tooth. This plaque causes inflammation, redness, swelling and pain of the gum margin. Because of this, a gap will develop where the gum touches the crown of the tooth. Food particles can accumulate here and plaque bacteria can get into the sulcus. This is the only completely reversible stage of periodontal disease and this is when you and I and your pet needs to go and see the dentist. This is a really good time to do a professional teeth clean. In this stage there is no bone loss. Now let's talk about plaque. The area that we're interested in is within that red oval. Plaque is made of bacteria and it builds up on the crown and reaches below the gum line into the sulcus. The protein sugars from the saliva mix with the plaque and in one to two days this is a really stable network and it's called biofilm. This protects the bacteria from chemicals like mouthwashes and only brushing daily will get rid of the biofilm. This is what the plaque looks like under the microscope. The dots and dashes of the bacteria, and there are billions of these in the mouth, and they like to stick onto the crown surfaces. The pink-orange stuff is the protein sugar strands that protects them, and the blob is the cells from the lining of the sulcus and the body's immune system. So remember these points about biofilm. It takes one to two days to develop. Chemicals don't wash it away. Brushing is the only thing that will remove it and if you're not quick enough by four to five days it's too late because tartar will have developed and you can't brush that away. In stage two periodontal disease calcium in the saliva has made the plaque into tartar or calculus and it is cemented to the tooth. The gums are swollen and painful and there is between 0 and 25% bone loss. This is not reversible. There is still bone support and the tooth can be saved if the teeth are cleaned by your vet now. So now the problem gets really bad because the pockets are getting deeper. The bottom of that moat is being destroyed by harmful bacteria. Remember that the deeper the pocket, the more harmful the bacteria. Stage 3 periodontal disease is when the bone loss is between 25 and 50 percent of the length of the root. The gums are inflamed and painful. Your pet is really uncomfortable. Some of these teeth can be saved with advanced procedures, but usually pet owners decide to have them extracted. In stage 4 periodontal disease, over 50 percent of the 
supporting bone is gone, so the tooth is now really wobbly and hurts your pet when it eats. Unless you are prepared for advanced procedures, most of the teeth are extracted. It is way too late to save them easily. When there is periodontal disease, bacteria can reach the blood circulation and the bacteria and their poisons can reach and damage other organs of the body such as the kidney, liver and heart. So now that you understand these concepts, you can understand why your vet recommends regular dental care just as your own dentist does. Please like and share our videos and thank you so much for watching.